Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to craft every single item in the game. This is current as of version 0.66. I'm going to start with the weapons first. For a crafted axe, you need a stick, a rock, and a rope. For a crafted club, it's a stick and one skull. For a bow, you need a stick, cloth, and a rope. For an upgraded stick, you need a stick and a cloth. To make an upgraded rock, it's one rock and one cloth. For a weak spear, you need two sticks. For an upgraded spear, you'll need to add your weak spear, three bone, and two cloth. And there's the upgraded spear. Now it does consume your weak spear, but you can easily just make another one. There you go. To make a repair tool, it's two sticks, one rock, two cloth, and ten sap. And there's your repair hammer, or repair tool. To make normal arrows, it's one stick and five feathers. To make bone arrows, it's one stick plus five bones. Doesn't matter how many you add. It's done. It'll recycle that bone. You can use it for later. To make poison arrows, you will need to make arrows if you don't have any. I've got some, but I thought I'd make some more. Once you've got your arrows, Add four twin berries, and it's done. There are multiple ways to make poison arrows. You've got the twin berry way, and you've also got the new mushroom way, the Amanita mushroom. Just add one, and it's done. And it's the Jack mushroom. Now there's no difference between them all. You can use bone arrows to make poison arrows and that, but it converts them back to normal arrows. So it's best to leave them as bone arrows. Now you can turn poison arrows into fire arrows, so cloth and booze, they become fire arrows. They lose their poison effect when this happens. But if you just want to make it from scratch, make another batch of arrows. Add one cloth and one booze, and you're done. And the same goes for bone arrows, but it will convert bone arrows into normal arrows. You can carry a maximum of 30 arrows. To carry more, you will need a quiver, which maxes out at 50. Now we'll go on to explosives. To make a molotov, one booze, and one cloth. You can carry nine molotovs. To make a bomb, it's one circuit board, one booze, one watch, and one coins. To make a sticky bomb, it's the same thing. You just gotta make a bomb again. So a circuit board, booze, wristwatch, and coins. The game originally said it used five coins, but only seems to use one. And then what you do, you just add sap. And now it's a sticky bomb. You can tell it's different, by the little icon that appears above it. You can carry five bombs or five sticky bombs or a combination of both. Max is five. To make a head bomb, you just use one bomb and attach a head. You can only carry one head bomb. To make an incinerary spear, if that's the right word, add an upgraded spear, add a booze and a cloth, and you can only carry one incinerary spear. You can't carry another upgraded spear. This classes as your upgraded spear. To make flare gun ammo, you add the flare gun, and then you add a maximum of five flares at a time. You can't add any more, it doesn't do anything. So once that's done, you can keep making more until you run out. But yes, on the inventory, flare ammo for the flare gun cannot be seen. To make stealth armor, you add one lizard skin and 15 leaves. You can carry a max of five. You can individually click to put them on, or you can right click and hold it down, but don't hold it down too long. Otherwise it goes overboard. Practice with it, you'll get better at it. To make bone armor, it's six bones and three cloth. A quicker way to do it is just hold down right click. It'll always max out at six. You can't ever go any higher than that. You can carry five bone armor. To make deer skin armor, which is just deer skin, it provides warmth. Just click on it and it adds to your thing. And you can see it going up here. And lizard skin's the same. Just click on it and it adds on. And the same with bone armor. 
to make rabbit fur boots. It's three rabbit skins and two rope. You can only carry one pair of rabbit fur boots. To make snowshoes, it's five sticks and two rope. You can only carry one. To make a water skin, it's two deer skin and a rope. You only carry one at a time. This helps you fill up water from water collectors and ponds and such. To make a berry pouch, it's two rabbit fur. This allows you to collect blueberries, snowberries and twin berries, as well as all the mushrooms that they've just recently added. To make a stick bag, it's two rope, one rabbit skin, and the rest is cloth, so three cloth. It allows you to carry 10 more sticks with a max capacity of 20. To make a rock bag, it's three rabbit fur, three rope, and one cloth. It allows you to carry five more rocks with a max capacity of 10. To make a quiver, it's three rabbit fur and one rope. It allows you to carry 20 more arrows with a max of 50. To make herbal medicine, which restores health, it's one aloe vera and one marigold. To make a herbal medicine plus, it's aloe vera, marigold and cone flower. This restores extra health. To make an energy mix, it's one cone flower and one chicory. This restores energy and stamina. To make an energy mix plus, it's one cone flower, one chicory, and one aloe vera. This just restores more stamina. To make rope, it's seven cloth. You can carry a max of four. So if I tried to make more, it wouldn't work. To make blue paint, it's two blueberries and one sap. You can carry three of them. To make orange paint, it's two marigold and one sap. You can carry three of them as well. To paint a weapon, you select a plain axe, upgraded stick or upgraded rock, and you pick the color you want. So a blue plain axe, an orange upgraded stick. It doesn't affect the damage or speed of the weapon at all, it just changes the look. And just for kicks, a blue upgraded rock. To upgrade the speed of a weapon, find the weapon you want, do the plain axe, add sap, and feathers. You can add a max of 30 upgrades to a weapon. To upgrade with teeth, which increases damage, but reduces the speed of the weapon, sap and teeth. And that increases the damage. If you want to increase your damage even more than teeth does, but suffer more of a speed loss, use booze. So you right click on the weapon, add sap and booze and then you start placing glass on it. You place five pieces of glass per bottle. Now to add a fire upgrade to a weapon, select the weapon, add cloth, and it's a fire upgrade. To further extend its fire upgrade, which I highly recommend you do, because it does make it a lot more powerful, add a bottle of booze. Just one does enough. If you add seven, it doesn't add anything extra. While I'm at it, I'll show you how to refill the chainsaw. All you do is just click on the fuel can, and it refills it. And same with the rebreather, all you do is Click the air canister and it refills it. And while I'm at it, I'll show you how to combine the gun. It's very simple. Just add all the parts. There's nothing to it. And you got a gun. Anyway, if you know someone who will find this video helpful, send them this way. Save you having to explain every time they ask. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.